But first tonight, possible changes coming to CCESD after 11 guns have been found on campuses this school year so far. That problem now prompting a task force to try to come up with some solutions. 13 Action News reporter Tom George breaks down some of the proposed solutions that were announced today. Tom. Yeah, Trish and Todd, this report was months in the making. It combined everyone from teachers to principals, parents and community leaders. Extra security, of course, one of the main solutions, but they say the problem also extends outside the classroom. We've seen the headlines too many times. Schools put on lockdown guns confiscated from campuses around our valley. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Members of a safety advisory committee presented their solutions. Among the top things Superintendent Jesus Jara wants to see adopted, having kids wear their IDs on their lanyards, adding security cameras, more police, and new canine units. Jara says while there are other solutions, these are the things that can be done right away within their safety budget. And I mean, I'll always like to look and see to, to meet the needs of all my children. And if I need more money, then I need to make that case for the legislature. But priority if our children are not safe, they can't learn. Another priority calling for a school safety assessment of every school. That's something this parent from Moapa Valley High School has been concerned about, saying especially rural older schools are out of date. And there are many access points that are not controlled. They also want to see more resources like counselors on the social side, stopping things like isolation and bullying. I think kids um, can't be force fed friendship, and I think that we could reach out to them in different ways. Jennifer Robertson says her child was one of those kids and says counselors were a huge support system. Parents need to ask for help. Uh, students um, need to find other ways to approach these kids, and I think we could do that. And when it comes to weapons, Jara hopes parents will do their part as well. Let's lock the gun so then you limit the access. That's, that's the other thing. Uh, but we need to know so that we can help. Now, Superintendent Jara says he has room in the current budget for some of those changes, but he also wants to see more of a focus on school safety when they lobby for more funding next session up in Carson City. Tom George, 13 Action News.